Hey guys, welcome back to another video of mine. So in this video, we're going to be speaking about what is as important as choosing the right colored pencils for you. So what is as important as choosing the right colored pencils for you? This, this is as important. I'm just kidding. I love putting um, my cats in my videos. He left. This is heavy. This is as important as choosing the right colored pencils for you. So. A lot of you um, has asked me like either here or over um, Instagram, like uh, which colors like I'm using, like which brands am I using? Like, but nobody asked me like which papers you're using. And this is like so important because you can have the best colored pencils in the world. And if you don't have the proper paper, you might not be able to get some very nice results. And I think that this is so important to have and to like experiment a bit more with the paper so you would know like which brands is like the most suitable for you when it comes to your colored pencil skills. So for this video, I chose 16 different brands and 16 different types of paper uh, just so I can compare and just so for you, like so you would be able to see um, what you can get in like certain like papers, like when it comes to certain papers, certain brands and everything. And I would also speak to you like a bit, like a bit their ups and downs and like the good side and the bad sides about the paper. So I'm sure that by the end of this video, you would be able to decide like which brand of the paper and which paper is would be like kind of the most suitable for you and when it comes to your style and everything. So make sure to watch this video until the end and also let me know like if there is like a brand that I didn't mention here or anything, if you're using some like different papers um, for your colored pencils drawings. Um, let me know in the comment section down below. Also, before we start, I would like to say that this video can be found as a real-time step-by-step -step drawing tutorial on my Patreon page. I'm uploading there loads of beautiful real-time step-by-step -step drawing tutorials. So you're able to see everything from the beginning until the end. And I have quite a few people there that uh, they found my tutorials very, very helpful. Some of them opened their own YouTube channel. Some of them um, started doing some beautiful art commissions. So if you want to progress when it comes to your skills and knowledge, make sure to check out my Patreon page and get access to basically everything there. Like you're getting access to like the whole library there, which is like very, very cool. So make sure to check it out. And uh, yeah, we can start with like our paper comparison now. All right, guys, now I'm going to be showing you first these cold press papers and on each and every paper, I just uh, like everything is the same. This is this is gonna be the white part. This is gonna be the black, like how the black and white are reacting. This I am going to show you like how, no matter how much do you want to like depress, that, like especially um, we're gonna be speaking about this a bit um, more when it comes to these cold press papers. Um, no matter how much you press your colored pencils and you want to kind of blend them in like this, you are never gonna be able, like no matter what paper you're using, you're never going to be able to kind of blend in the colors if you press the pencils very hard and i'm going to be speaking about that a bit uh, more in the future and this is the example like how the zested like the pencil blend is reacting to combining these colors and these are just like normal layering the colors so on each and every sample i'm going to be having the exactly the same samples like this so let's start first with this Canson Excel cold press paper and I'm going to be starting with the watercolor paper first and this is just a usual blending as you can see but um, as you can see again this kind of I, I, I'm not sure if I would be like that satisfied with the blending here like you can still see the the tooth of the paper here and you really need to press your pencil very very hard like this in order for your colors to be combined like the cold press papers they're very very good when it comes to the watercolor and when it comes to maybe even different mediums and it's very good if you want to use the zested because as you can see like these blendings are just lovely here but if you just want to use the colored pencils i'm not sure if i would be using like if i would be choosing the cold press paper um this is the example where I really wanted to like kind of explain especially to the beginners because like usually when you first start off with your colored pencils you really want to have like all these bold colors and everything but and 
you immediately start pressing your pencil very very hard and this is like completely wrong because like this you're not gonna be able to mix any kind of color like this is the important thing to know when it comes to the colored pencils this medium is a very time consuming medium and you really need to build up like slowly build up your shades and your colors and like to slowly blend your colors in so this is why you're gonna be seeing like on each and every paper you're gonna be seeing something like this but i also wanted to show you like on the especially on the cold pressed paper because if you for example uh only have the cold pressed paper with you um, you're gonna be immediately kind of intimidated by the fact that you are seeing a lot of tooth of the paper like the, the texture of the paper and you're gonna be starting like to press it very very hard but this is completely wrong so either use the zest it or just slowly start to build like your colors step by step and you're gonna be able to get some very very good results um, these are the examples like how the 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 white and the black are showing and as you can see like the white is basically like you cannot see the white i can see it like very very tiny bit and the black is very very good when it comes to this so like when it comes to the canson paper they're very good i like the texture um it's a cold press paper so like there's a lot of texture there but for the colored pencils i'm not sure if i would be able like if i would use this exact paper um, so let's go to Bockenford watercolor paper. Like this is very similar to the Canson one. The only thing I didn't like is when I like started with the zested. Like you can still see the kind of like the texture of the paper here, and like there's just a lot of texture here. Like just see the difference between this texture and this texture. So the reason why is why it is like this is because this paper is mold made so this is very different like this, these are the cold press paper but mold pa mold made papers they have a bit uh, different texture than any kind of watercolor paper i tried before and again this is very good for the watercolor but for the colored pencils you're going to be needing a bit more effort to kind of blend the colors in if you want to get that very very smooth shade um so this is the Fabriano Studio hot pressed paper. So this is again the watercolor paper, but the difference is this like it's hot pressed paper, which is again completely different thing than the cold pressed paper. And this is because um, the texture of the paper is very, very smooth. It kind of reminds you of the Bristol paper. So for example, if I'm using the zested or if I want to combine, for example, the water soluble pencils with the colored pencils, I would definitely go with this hot press paper. And it doesn't matter if it's Fabriano or um, you have that brand Arches, I think. I hope that that's how it's pronounced. Um, I think it's a French paper. Um, I might be... I might be mistaken but definitely i have the i have that paper but i have like um in a like a drawing sketch version like i don't have the watercolor paper um this is made like especially for the drawing so these papers are very good like i love hot press paper because the the blendings are just like the, you can see the difference especially when it comes to these blacks like you can see the difference between like the blending here and the blending here they're very very good and again no matter how smooth your paper is you can never get the blending if you press your pencil very very hard and i know i keep saying that but this is really really important if you want to start off with your colored pencils like slowly and gradually build your layers and don't press your pencils hard for so, just so you can get uh, the best result and these th these are the places where i kind of like build it up my colors like slowly and gradually and i really like how the colors are combining especially even here like with the zested it just it's it's really really nice and these are also good if you want to get like certain illustrations or something like that so i really like the hot press paper and i would always recommend when it comes to um colored pencils so now we can transfer on to the mixed media papers so now here i have the fabriano and the canson one and first you can see like there's a big difference between the um i don't know why my papers are a bit smudged um so there's a big difference between the colors first and um I like Canson, like the brand Canson. I really, really love it. But the only thing I don't understand when it comes to this paper, like 
for some of you maybe this paper is, is one of like your most favorite papers ever but Canson mixed media paper it has that liney texture which I kind of don't prefer because no matter how much you blend the colored pencils I mean it's mixed media so that means that you can use the watercolor the colored pencils the graphite pencil charcoal basically anything and if I want to use for example graphite pencils on this or colored pencils I would still get like this texture and maybe for some of you like you can kind of build up your style based on the texture of the paper or something like that but for when it comes to me and for my style I'm I'm don't prefer this paper and I I kind of bought it I think a few years ago just so I can try it out and I really didn't like how this paper is reacting with colored pencils it just like you can see those liney textures like no matter how much you try to blend like even with the zest it I could see like those lines here which I didn't prefer but when it comes to like Fabriano I really like how the mixed media is turning out like it doesn't have that like it is like kind of textury like when you touch it like it's really nice but um, I would definitely go more with this Fabriano mixed media than with the Canson if you want to have like a mixed media paper always look for the paper that kind of reminds you of the I, I, either the Bristol paper or the hot pressed paper um, the watercolor one so when it comes to this I definitely prefer much more the Fabriano mixed media and you can see the difference like even with these like the blacks again like this is a very different a very different blend um, next let us change the colors a bit and next we have these black papers so this is the Claire Fontaine pastel mat and this is the just a random pastel cardboard that I um, bought in one of my art stores here and you can see the clear difference like this is this is what I was telling you about like how important it is to choose the right paper so for example you can have the best colored pencils as I already said like you can have the best colored pencils in the world and if you choose the paper which is for example like this like this is a pastel paper and even though like some of you will say like well obvious it's a pastel paper you cannot use the colored pencils on it but again for example here I love how the colored pencils turned out and I love using the pastel matte paper for my colored pencils and I can use the mixed media I can use the watercolor paper for the colored pencils like you can still change and switch from the paper to a paper if it's a good quality paper you can still use it for the colored pencils and this is something that for example you're getting your colored pencils for example the prisma color and then you don't want to spend that much money on the paper and you get to the nearest art store and you just get like those usual papers and you ended up with something like this now you can see the obvious difference like these colors they're very very different and the the whites are different the blacks are different even the blendings they're different I don't know what happened to this color but it's kind of like very it's lighter like I can see that it's kind of lighter it has that kind of a glare more than this red which is kind of a, not the best thing and if I was about to use this one I would completely be lost with my colored pencil so this is why it's important for you to choose the right paper for your colored pencils now let's compare the Claire Fontaine pastel matte white and Claire Fontaine pastel matte um, this um, blackish color so like this you can see the difference like the only reason why I prefer this one is because the white is seen like so good here like I know that this like I'm not sure like you can see still the white here because the color of this paper like even though it's a white paper um, it's a bit of that it has that bit of a creamy look to it so that is why um, you can still see the white but the blending here like this is amazing like what zested here this is this is really amazing and you can see the texture of the pastel matte paper and this is one of my most favorite papers ever like I use it a lot for the colored pencils I use it a lot for the pastels I only use this color th this paper for the pastels and 
I just I'm in love with this paper like what this paper can offer you I know it's a bit pricey but at the same time like guys you won't be like it's it's worth like every single penny that's for sure um, even the blendings here like I kind of try and blend like just the colors in between and burnish them in between like it's it's really really good and what I love about like these colored papers is that you can basically manipulate with the contrast like so much more because the white is seen and the lighter colors are like seen much better so this is also something that you should maybe consider if you want to start off with your colored pencils and or if you already started and you think that um, your paper like don't give you the best possible results um, this is these are definitely the papers that you should be considering um, next we have the um, Strapmore Tone 10 and Canson Craft Sketch. Now, these papers, um, like these are both Tone 10 papers, like as you can see, like and, and the colors, they're a bit different. Like I think that this color is a bit more like a bit vibrant than this one. It's a bit more matted, like Strapmore one. But again, Canson still has that liney texture which i didn't prefer but the only reason uh why i used i used in one of my illustrations this um and it actually turned out quite good like i um i was drawing that red um red woman like that red uh, with the makeup and all like i think i i post it as uh as shorts so i prefer this paper when it comes to colored pencils but only um if you really like end up burnishing your colored pencils like either with zested or having like a bit harder pressure so like these lines again won't be seen because you can see the lines here on the white and on the black because it's not like burnished yet here you can see how like it still has that like kind of liney things i'm not sure why canson is making the liney papers um maybe like loads of you are like very good with using this paper i just cannot find myself with having that uh, liney texture um but when it comes to the strapmore tone 10 i as you already know i love using the strapmore tone 10 and i used it quite a lot as well as the strapmore tone gray it's just something about the strapmore papers that i really love and i love using the strapmore papers in general so um I have only like the best thing to say when it comes to this this paper like at first like you can see the texture like even though um, at first like on the touch like you cannot feel the texture but you can definitely see it as soon as you start layering the colors in which is like really amazing like when it comes to the paper but like combining the colors and burnishing the colors like even the zest it is like it's very very good so I kind of really like this paper and you get like the whole like pad with 50 sheets and like it's very affordable when it comes to the prices like both of them are very affordable so it depends basically on your style um, if you prefer having like a bit of a liney moments and stuff like if you're doing some maybe the landscapes or something I think that maybe this will maybe help you out a bit but when it comes to Stratmore Tone 10, I guys, I definitely love it. And if I would have to choose between the two of them, I would choose the Stratmore one. Um, the another reason why I would choose the Stratmore one is because this paper is a um, like it's it's like very thin. It's it's very very thin. Like it's I know it's a kind of a sketch paper. Like it says that it's like a craft sketch paper, but um it's not made for like the professional colored pencils and like portraits and drawings and stuff but um i would definitely go like even if i want to practice i would definitely go with the tone 10 one uh, because this kind of paper it kind of it's it kind of just like it's it's not the best like it kind of folds very easily which i don't prefer so but it's definitely good if you want to practice and you don't want to like spend very like big amount of money on the papers um so next what we have is we have this bristol boards now these are something that i use quite often and i mostly use the strapmore 
like I use only the Strathmore Bristol Board 300 series for the colored pencils um, when it comes to the Bristol paper and I recently purchased the uh, Fabriano Bristol paper and I really want to try it out to like kind of compare this because I didn't compare it for this comparison I didn't make it because it arrived a few days ago so I didn't have the time to kind of experiment I made this like a few weeks ago I think um, but anyways I'm gonna try it out and I think I'm gonna do a comparison between the Stratmore Bristol and the Fabriano one and when it comes to these papers again I love Canson Bristol for the graphite pencils like if you want to get that very very smooth shades with the graphite or with the charcoal you should definitely go with either the Canson Bristol or the Strathmore Bristol like and even the colors like if you prefer maybe the whiter paper Canson is like a very good paper for for that but for the colored pencils I kind of you can see like how the colors are layering like it it seemed that the colors on this paper is a bit like kind of washed out comparing to the Strathmore Bristol one and the whites again like they're not seen of course the zested one is like I think that zested worked better on the Bristol board than on the Canson one um, you can kind of see again like the see-through of the paper I'm not sure why it's kind of the, the colors faded after I blend them and it's not something that I prefer but again like if maybe like in a few layers and everything I think that but it kind of like I kind of got the feeling that no matter how much I put the layers when it comes to the colored pencils like it's kind of it seemed it seemed washed out like the colors are not that vibrant and maybe for some of you like that would be good because not everybody likes to have those like very vibrant tones and vibrant shades and colors so as for this um, if you are like using com color colored pencils and graphite pencils and the charcoal ones like you can definitely go with both brands but if you use it for the colored pencils I would again prefer the Strathmore one then the Canson, like I apologize to the Canson people, but um, again, I'm using this like Canson Bristol. I'm loving it. I'm using it for the for the graphite pencils and for the charcoal. But when it comes to the colored pencils, I just couldn't find like them to be the best when it comes to the colored pencils. And now I want to show you these two papers. So these papers is like I'm using both of the papers um, I mostly use this artist drawing paper like this is a cotton paper and this is made like for I have cat's hair all over my papers um, so this is like 100% cotton and it's made for drawing which is like having a 100% cotton paper for the drawing is a dream come true like kind of I like I love that fact so even when it comes to the watercolor paper like if you're choosing the watercolor paper like always if you can see any cotton one like it's like for example 100% cotton just go for that one because cotton papers are the best when it comes to drawing when it comes to water watercolors when it comes to basically anything I would always prefer going with the cotton papers um, so you can see the difference when it comes to the colors as well and when it comes to like the shading like the blending um i kind of find the blending basically the same like this is the strapmore paper which is made like just for the colored pencils like you can have the whole pad of this papers and these are kind of like even called like strapmore colored pencils so this this paper is like really good when it comes to the colored pencils but even if this is like the drawing paper it's because it's like 100% of like cotton it's like the colors are so amazing on it like even the the, the zested like it kind of blended perfectly which I really liked it even blended better than the Strathmore colored pencils which I really like and I don't know I just kind of prefer both of them and I like this is a bit pricier paper a bit than this as I remember I bought it last year and I kind of think that it's a bit more pricier but I really like how the colors blended here like I was going like 
with a couple of layers and even here like you can see how like smooth the transition is and you don't see like the texture of the paper here you kind of see it a bit but i think that like these parts like it's a, like this part is a bit better than this one but um when it comes to this and when it comes to like comparing this i think i i like both of them basically but um it really depends on again your style and on your personal preference and on what you exactly want to like get and achieve when it comes to the the papers but um yeah i kind of like both of them i don't know which one i would choose um and we have the last two papers which is the Stratmore tone gray and the this is the paper that i don't know exactly how to pronounce i'm just gonna say like hanemule hanemule gray i think and um i'm very bad when it comes to like german language and i apologize but um this is like these papers they are both tone gray which is like this is the tone gray paper and this is the warmer tone of the gray and this is the lighter tone of the gray like this is the 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 cooler tone and i like both of them like i got this um as a sketchbook and i really prefer like both of the color like both of the papers um the colors seemed a bit washed out here but i think that that's the reason because like it's a cool gray version of the paper now when i look at it like when i'm comparing i think that that is why and you can see like how the colors like even like from the color to the white are like combining and i really like i as i already said like i loved tone like i like tone papers a lot and i love them but um even here i would know like what um i would choose um the texture is like much smoother than this one so it really depends again on your personal preference like if you want to get a bit more textury results like i would go with strathmore tone gray but again like with the certain blends as you can see like with the zested you are going to be able to get some amazing results and even if you don't get like the very good blendings and the very good shades in the beginning like you can always go again with your colored pencils over the blends and you can get some amazing amazing results again i'm using the tone gray the Strathmore one a lot and I use them like for basically everything when it comes to like my um, my drawings but um, this is also a very good paper so like if you have this paper or if you want to use it for the colored pencils or if you have it in the nearest art store I would I would definitely go with either like the Strathmore ones or the or this one so it basically depends on your personal preference you can see like the texture the difference between them and you can see like here even so the blacks are doing a very good job the whites like here as well i think that this white is a bit more um whiter than this one but then i think that it's only because we have that difference in the in the colors so guys this would be all when it comes to this video i truly hope that you find this helpful and i'm sure that um in time you're gonna be able to find some lovely paper that's gonna suit you the best when it comes to your colored pencil skills and knowledge um you have this video as a real-time step-by-step drawing tutorial on my patreon page where i'm basically explaining everything in like loads of more details and i'm also like um showing you step by step like how i made everything like every um sample here and um you have everything like of course in much more details um but uh, make sure to check my patreon page i have quite a few people there and um, i'm really enjoying my time like speaking to people there and drawing together and uh you're basically getting a whole access to all of my real-time step-by-step tutorials there um with just a few dollars per month and that is actually a very cool thing like you can get access to basically all the library there for just a couple of dollars per month so make sure to check that out as well i have loads of tutorials um with colored pencils with graphite with charcoal with pastels so um yeah make sure to check it out if you have any questions uh feel free to ask me either on instagram or here or anywhere um that you find me facebook 
But um, this would be all. I truly hope that, again, you found this helpful and um, make sure to subscribe and like this video if you found this helpful and um, leave a comment if you have like any suggestions of the papers or if you are using the paper for the colored pencils that I didn't mention. I would also like to hear that. And um, yeah, thank you so much again, guys, for watching and I see you in another video. Bye-bye, guys.